Consignment businesses are popular in Florida, but what protections do you have when the shop you trust shuts down, leaving you without your merchandise? Well, Better Call Bacon has some answers, and Shannon joins us now with some updates on three ongoing investigations into this sort of thing. That's right, Keith. We get a lot of calls about consignment businesses, and when the business model works, it's great for both the buyers and the sellers, but sometimes those on both sides of the deal can get stuck. So tonight, we're concentrating on shops selling boats, RVs, and furniture. Furniture. First off, defunct Gulf Coast boat sales in Palm Harbor. I really felt sick to my stomach. Some customers claim they paid for boats and either got nothing or didn't get the title. Others say the shop sold their boat for them but didn't give them any of the proceeds. Nine months after my first story, some customers are still stuck. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office investigation continues. Next up, consignment RV in Largo. After our Better Call Banking investigation, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office jumped on this one. My RV was basically stolen. It was a familiar tale. Customers' RVs were sold and they weren't given the money, or they bought an RV and didn't get the title. Well, owner Jeremy Rainey was arrested a year ago and charged with scheming to defraud. His trial is set for March 5th. And finally, off the beaten path in pistachios, antiques, and collectibles. Heartbroken. This shop did both consignment and custom furniture. Lisa Buck called me after she hired the shop to make furniture out of her mother's 100-year-old family heirloom piano. Then the place shut down. Everything inside cleared out. Other customers complained about their vanished furniture left at the shop for consignment. I spoke with Buck today, and she tells me she's supposed to pick up the piano tonight. The Tarpon Springs Police Department is looking into this situation. The owner of Pistachios tells me he moved all of the furniture into a storage unit, and his story is that he had to move out in a really big hurry because his landlord evicted him, and he says he's returning all of the items and trying to finish all of those custom orders like the piano furniture. Okay, so you have three good examples there, but a lot mm -hmm. of people still using these consignment shops. What yes. do you do to protect yourself well, if you're going to go that route? You need to make sure when you have a contract with a consignment shop that you know exactly how long it's supposed to take before they deliver that item. And if you're dealing with something that's a high ticket item like these boats and RVs, you really need to have everything spelled out here because, you know, you could end up in a, a big problem like these folks have. And one of the things is that a lot of these companies want you to allow them to pay off your loan. No. Don't agree to that. You want to get all the money and pay off your own loan. Yeah, we saw that happen. It didn't yes, work out so well. Not. Get the money. All right, mm -hmm. thank you, Shannon. And if you have a problem that needs solving, better call Megan. The telephone number on your screen, 1-855-BANKIN.